you'll ever win. The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is a tag team match. Introducing first. Making their way to the ring, the team of the prodigy Paul Malin and special edition Joseph Connors, they are the Predators! Introducing their opponents tonight. Well, somewhat uh, an unpopular question I asked to Robbie. I was just out there just to, to ask him how he felt on, on losing every match for a year. The crowd wasn't happy, but we need to know, Adam, what, how he was feeling. Be that as it may, uh, he wasn't happy. And we went from an angry young man to two very angry young men in the Predators. My favourite tag team right now, Dale Mills. The unstoppable predators. Well, there's uh, a lot of history here for the predators, and, and Christopher Travis both been interjecting themselves into the other's business as the, the house of pain from right here in Nottingham are slowly trying to take over Southside from the inside with sticks, with Malin and Connors. Chris Travis stupidly interjecting himself into this. What the, what the hell is that man thinking? Seriously. Honest to God. Well, not usually one for, for sticking up for, for Southside. Usually a man is, uh, he, he wants me to announce him as from the centre of his own interests, but clearly his interests were in uh, making Southside his priority, whereas the Predators want to destroy Southside, take it over, uh, align, they've aligned themselves with sticks and they want to take us down from the inside with the House of Pain. I've already offered them my services. I think you're getting fired if they take over. Quite possibly. I'll still be here. Match begins right here with Paul Malin and the shooting star Chris Travis. Travis immediately with his side headlock. Easy. Good God. We've gone back to the seaside though. Travis kicking out, Paul Mellon's legs from under him, swing and a miss, arm drag takeover, and a second. Looks like he just clubbed Paul Mellon in the face. Yeah, just <laughs> unashamedly just the forearm across. Fantastic Japanese arm drag there from Travis. I mean, he's, he's very, 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 very good. He will be the first to tell you this, but there is no doubt in that uh, he's a very, very talented individual, as is his tag team partner, Martin Kirby. 
One of the most seasoned and decorated tandems in all of the UK in the past five or so years are Project Ego. However, I think he may have missed that tag. But it didn't make much difference as Kirby has now taken out both of the Predators. What on earth is going on? Forearm shots are sent the special edition at the corner and Paul Malin on the outside. However, the much stockier and better built of this, uh, of this pairing in the ring gets the strength advantage, but Kirby, the much lighter of the two, seems to be dancing around him. Looking for that. Oh, no, so oh, back drop, but dumps him right on his coccyx. Drop toe hole. I think that, yeah. that in the coccyx too? Yeah, I think so. Right in the nether regions. Oh, no. Oh, make a wish, Adam, but times two. Oh. The legs are just not meant to bend that way. That's all. And I think for the first time here in Southside, the Predators have found themselves up against another dominant tag team. They've run roughshod over the promotions teams, but this is the first time that they have actually faced someone with the caliber of Project Ego. Tag team champions up and down the country. Well, the Predators are no stranger to gold themselves, but while they argue on the outside, oh! First try! oh my lord, Travis is just 7 10 split on the Predators. As he shakes the cobwebs off, he rolls the prodigy Paul Malone back in the ring. We're back to the two legal men, I believe. Uh, no. <laughs> I think Connor's oh, no. lost, but uh, we've already lost control of this one. Yes, we've hit Lucha rules again. Malone taken down. There's a clothesline attempt missed. Back elbow. Back elbow. Yes, now Kirby just seems to be one step ahead. Well, there we go, curse of the commentator. One step ahead, I was going to say, of the Predators. You can't keep your eyes on both men at the same time. Martin Kirby, you just learned that the hard way. That's what we like, Simon! Well, both these teams are very even in the weight and size department. I, I, I will give uh, Joseph Connors all the credit in the world. He has he is put himself together. He's, he's lost a lot of weight and he looks in the best shape of his career. Whilst they are both similar, similar sizes and weights, they have two completely different philosophies as tandems. The Predators being the much slower, more methodical, they will dictate the slower pace and pick you apart, rip off a limb and beat you to death with it. Meanwhile, Project Ego, I guess you would say, are the flashier tandem using a much more higher risk offense as we saw from Travis earlier. So uh, two different philosophies from these two teams. Well, a lot of people are probably uh, familiar with Project Ego and they're more sort of, you know, I, I, I sort of more fun style that they bring to wrestling, but they can get down and dirty and they can be serious and they will have to be if they want to be the Predators. Oh, these are two happen. machines, Connors and, and Malin, as you see that nice high angle backdrop. Travis in to break up the cover. They have took apart every tandem they faced here in Southside. Last show, uh, of course, we won't talk about that. But when they lost to Manson yeah, and Doug Williams. Well, they cheated quite blatantly all the way through that contest. They are not prepared at all for Doug Williams. Well, they've had plenty of time to prepare for Project Ego. Kirby trying to fight his way back to an advantage. Fantastic swinging, almost into a hangman style net breaker. Once again, Trav there to, I can call him Trav because we're good friends. Trav in there to break up the cover. Well, that's just nasty, raking the nails down the back. Follows it up with driving the knee again into the small of the back. They're making this match. Oh, and a blatant choke, Adam. A blatant choke. He's not. He's choking. Martin Kirby's choking. When yes, he match, because he swallowed he swallowed his tongue and he was trying to unblock the windpipe with the tongue in it and the thing and the stuff with the what's it. And that. Yes, of course he was. Stops the hip toss attempt. Looking for a backslide. Gets it. Shoulders down. 
Kirby not quite sure where he was. I think he kind of lost his bearings a little there after taking such a beating. There we go, nice legal tag. Yep, give him that. And they've got till five to get out. It's not classed as cheating until the bell rings. Yeah, I know. Connors now keeping him down on that mat. The chin lock applied. And a beaut it is. Charging in. Look at how he's trying to go for that sunset flip, but he's made the tag. Martin Kirby has not seen it. Now he knows. The kick to the small of the back. Kirby needs to tag out right now if Project Ego have any chance of winning this contest. Well, just when you think that Kirby was getting a little bit of momentum aside, you've got to give props again to the Predators. They've cut the ring off. Every, you saw with that sunset flip attempt, they were close enough to the corner to be able to make the tag. The referee couldn't make the count. They're keeping it in their third of the ring exactly where it needs to be. Both men now. I think they've settled on the back. Certainly the smaller the back. There's a target weakening that area. It's going to make it very difficult for Martin Kirby to try and kick out of pin attempts. Can we try to find his way to make the tag to... And if he does make the tag to, to Travis, he has been on the apron for quite a while and he will be somewhat fresh. But at the moment, it's, it's proving somewhat difficult because the well-oiled machine of the predators, predators. Tandem suplex. Hits the mark. Hooks the leg. Watch You've got out. a question how much more Martin Kirby has left in the tank. Probably very, very little. Um, I'm sure you agree with that as well, Adam. With what? He fell off. Uh, he fell off, yeah. He fell off the with an elbow. But well, Kirby underneath the legs. Catches them both coming in. Oh no. Double close line rolls underneath. Hot tag made. Oh Christ. Top rope. Double drop kick. Hits the mark. Nip up. And the proverbial house of fire is Christopher Travis, the shooting star. Showing why he's called that. There's that vintage high knee. Close line bulldog combination. Cover two. Oh. What on earth? Travis seems to be taking both of them on. Well, he's going to need to for the time being while his partner Kirby collects his thoughts on the outside. He's taken a beating for a good 10 minutes. Oh, there you go. Well, the referee's got to get some sort of order here because both of the Predators are in the ring. Travis is, t is dealing with that for now. Hey, Travis put them both there. Well, I'm running knee legs. And he got himself to blame. Drop kick from Kirby. This is broken down. A handspring into the head scissor. Perhaps looking for the Hurricane Rana, but no. Oh! Face plant. Unbelievable. Oh my God. Oh my. I've lost. I don't know who's legal. I don't know how the referee is. All four men are just giving it. They're all right here. This is a lawless environment. I don't think it is a legal man. Irish whip reversal. Well, that's just a boot to the face from Trav. Ducks under the clothesline. Run a hurricane, Rana. You not often see that from Travis. An Irish whip. Connor's great agility yeah, shown there for a man of his size. I know, unbelievable. And he's going to the top. Took a little bit too long. He's kicked in the face. Oh no. Travis trying to get that suplex on. Look out, because here comes Paul Malin. Doomsday device, perhaps? Quite possibly. No, oh, scoops no. out. Looking for that Death Star pile driver. Backed into the corner. Oh my lord, what is going on? What is going on? Oh He's no! Run up, superplex. But Malin, the stronger of the two. Yeah, wind up clothesline, but the block from the right. A series from Christopher Travis. Off the ropes. Out the back door. Hits the ego trip. He looks like he might try and go for the cover. He doesn't see Connors coming in behind him. Short. Well, it's very short lariat. Broken down, well and truly. 
The only man standing right now is the special edition. I have no idea who's legal. I guess the referee, it, well, he's letting it go. He's letting all four of these men just kick each other's heads in for our entertainment. I'm getting tired just trying to figure out what on earth the hell is going on and who's legal and who isn't. Well, they're looking for that trophy kill, Adam. If they hit this, this match is over. Kirby scoots out the back door. Bit of a meeting of the minds. Oh, no. Standing, no, go behind, reversal. Second one, third one. Kirby back, Connors into the corner, ducks down. Massive. Great tag team. Oh! The assisted great. into Kirby. Oh, no. Oh, no. One, two, two no! three! No! Ladies and gentlemen, the winners of the match, Project Ego! Ridiculous! He wasn't even the legal man! Well, Adam, the ego has landed, and that is the second straight loss for the Predators. Paul Malin's clearly annoyed. Have the wheels come off for the Predators? How, is, how does Sticks feel about this? Second straight loss. I can imagine he's not going to be pleased, and he shouldn't be. The Top Gun high five seals it there for Project Ego. And just look how angry the Predators are. This is ridiculous. While all four guys gave it their all. They broke every tag rule in the book. All four guys gave it their all. Unfortunately for the Predators tonight, unfortunately for that team there. Well, Connors has just asked for the microphone. And so they should. Turn that music. You wait one second, Mr. Kirby. Challenge has been laid out. Certainly Shut up! Like. Get your little head set up. You get this sword, Chris. You know what to do. You get this sword for us, pal. Okay? Easy. You run, throbbers. You just call him a throb. Call him a throbber. I think he did. I guess you're on throbbers. What you means challenge accepted. The tag belts, the newly made tag belts for Southside. It's going to be the Predators versus Project Ego to crown the first ever tag team champions here in Southside. 